come on. We're getting there. Got it. <laughs> Do not open the headset with long nails. <laughs> The XR Elite is our brand new all-in-one headset. I'm your host, Madeline, and I'm here to do an unboxing with you to show you all of the amazing pieces that come with the XR Elite. Yay! I'm so excited to unbox the XR Elite with you. Let's take a look and see what's inside the box. Let's start with the most important part, the headset. As a fan of the Vive products, starting from the OG headset, it is mind-blowing that you can pack this much power into such a small form factor. It is incredible to see how much this technology has grown and developed over time. Just wow. Got it. Wow. It looks great. As we dive deeper into opening the box, the very first cord we looked into was the double-sided USB-C cable, which is really great for high-speed connection and file transfer. So a super useful cord to have on hand. Next, we're going to take a look at the hot swappable battery pack that comes with the XRE. Here is a view of how to take off the battery pack. You click the little buttons on the side, and when reconnecting the battery pack, make sure to plug in the USB-C port on the side. The great part about the battery pack is that it is hot swappable, meaning that you can swap a battery out without powering down the headset, meaning that you can stay in VR forever, ever, ever. And the amazing part about the battery cradle is that the ergonomics were designed to create a perfectly comfortable weight distribution, allowing for extended time in the headset. One of the best compliments we've received to date comes from Marquise Brownlee on the comfort of our headset. That is, it's, it's like very, pivot, the pivot point almost yeah. like a... Yeah, it's really well balanced. Like exactly what you're saying. Like the, when I turn my head around, I feel like there's the exact same amount in front of me and behind me, which is, is it. Next, we're going to talk more about the controllers and how you can actually use controllers or go controller free, as well as all the different buttons and features on them. When I first tried the controllers, I was really happy with the comfortability and the lightweight of them. Overall, they felt very nice in my hands. Let's take a closer look at the physical buttons on the controller. Controllers are super great for helping you get the best virtual reality experience, and the Vive XR Elite controllers do a great job at that. We have have hall sensors on the triggers and grip buttons, and there are capacitive sensors on the trigger, joystick, and thumb resting area. We also have our A, B, and X, Y buttons for use, as well as a menu system button that looks like a little hamburger menu. Additionally, the little Vive logo button you see is a pass-through button. If you double click it, it will turn on the XR pass-through. Next, we're going to take a closer look at the no controller hand tracking. But before we do that, let's learn some additional fun facts about the packaging that was made here by the HTC Vive packaging team. HTC Vive has committed to reducing our carbon footprint with 99.9% .9 of our packaging being made out of recycled paper. The only plastic that is used in the packaging of the XRE is the seal sticker. As a huge earth lover, I'm all for recycling and it warms my heart to know that we are doing everything in our power to contribute to society with not only only technology, but also doing what we can where we can. Tree hugging aside, let's continue unboxing. We are going to take a closer look at the AR pass-through hand tracking. The feeling of no controllers in my hands is mind-blowing to me. Using the XR Elite was my first experience with a no controller feeling in VR. It's incredibly exciting and it gives so much opportunity for developers and creators to start opening up a world full of new types of immersion. And you don't have to hold controllers in your hands. Sword Art Online, here we come. Next, the two cords on the left panel that that opens up above the controllers are the USB-C on one end and USB on the other end, usually used for charging your controllers. And we can't forget our extra goodies. The XR Elite comes with two lanyards for those of us that are more inclined to accidentally throw a controller. Next, we have the microfiber pouch. This is a great tool to use to protect your headset from scratches while you're on the go. I have really enjoyed my experience with the XR Elite and with ready to go titles like Open Brush, as well as over a hundred standalone titles available arriving in the launch window and with more on the way, I can't wait to share my favorite moments in the XR Elite headset with you. With the XR Elite focusing on an all-in-one portable experience, this means that you can take the headset with you when you travel, when you're at your favorite cafe, or even while you're doing yoga. 
This versatility allows you to truly explore your version of VR in your everyday life. Now I want to ask you, what are you excited about for the XR Elite? Leave a comment below. Bye!